Hello everybody and welcome back to Akenja's Gaming. Akenja's here bringing some more Space Engineers and the Learning to Survive in our campaign. Okay guys, um, getting back into this, we, we've done the mining, we've done the construction, we've bought back our, our prizes from them and we have many, many more missions that we can now do. So, get started, let's Let's get our ship, you know, this, um, hmm? oh, let's, let's actually set this up better. So rather than start task, I'm going to set up an, an action instead. So we're going to go landing gear, switch lock. There we go. So now we can <coughs> we can take this ship with us wherever we go. So if we turn the batteries and recharge the water. Turn the engines on. All right, there we have it. Okay, so I'm going to turn the, using H, I'm going to switch through the amount of signals. I want the full visibility because I'm going to be able to see where everything is. So we went over, I think it was this way yesterday. We saw a few more missions in the background. There we go. And it was there somewhere. There's an observation post mission. It's going to take us a bit to get there. So, the max speed, we're using W, press Z to turn on the dampeners. That way, we can switch off the engines, conserve the energy, and make our way over there. We do have to remember to turn it back on and utilize the dampeners, so Z key again, to slow down. Or you can just do it manually yourself, actually. Alright. So, this observation post has depressurized, so that's basically going to be the objective. Is we are going to get it back into into fighting form because there's got to be a way of being able to survive these the harsh elements so uh, let's find a place to land there we go as you see it's not exactly in the best of health looks like it's been hit by a meteor or something Okay, it looks like this place used to be pressurised. Pressurised rooms will replenish your oxygen and keep you warm. Repair the air vent to check the status of the room. So, that'd be this jobby here. So, let's get what we need. A uh, cargo container. There we have it. Perfect, but a yellow light on the air vent means the room is not sealed. Repair the holes in the walls and the door to make the room air tight. So basically, this has got two doors, one internal, one external, like on our ship. So if we just grab them. There we have it. So it's definitely not just that. So let's see, what else have we got? We got, well, that's missing some bulletproof glass. Start with this one. There we have it. Why can't I? T oh, I see. It's behind that. So where else we get? Ah. Oh. 
Oh, there we go. Let's see if it now shows green light, indicating the room is sealed. Connected H2O2 generator can now produce oxygen from ice and use the vent to pressurize the room. Store ice in the H2O2 generator at the excess port on the roof. So I'd imagine there's ice in here. There we go. Actually, let's leave those open just to prove a point. Uh, no, how do we get to up there? Right, so that's in H2O2 generator, which is now producing nicely. So now, if we shut these doors, there we go, the room is now pressurised. Yay! So, notice that your oxygen supply automatically replenishes when you're in a pressurised environment. Well, that's good to know. Right. Occasionally, these things also pop up as well. Unknown signals. I'll just two of them. That's rare. Alright. So we'll turn off the dampeners. We'll just go by suit on this one. Alright, we're almost there. Now what I always do is when I'm getting in range, I always Oops, it's not that one. Why isn't this working? Doesn't matter for the moment. There we go. Got a badger suit. So basically, it's a new cosmetic part, and when you're in game, you'd need the, um, the medical room to be able to get access to it. Usually, there's a cargo pod on here. Uh, that was not it. That one is it. It's got parts and bits and pieces that we can use. So, right there, we've got a new upgraded drill. Oops, I think I'm not into it, so. Alright, so that's basically the basic drill. We've now got the upgraded enhanced grinder. You notice we're going to go through this a lot quicker. Okay. So. Observation post is that way. And that's that one pretty much done. We've already done this, so... I mean, we can, if we wanted to, salvage everything and take it with us. Uh, we don't necessarily have to, but we could. So... Let's put all of our... We found stuff in here. Also put that grinder in there, because we're going to now use the enhanced grinder from now on. Okay. And then we've got the advanced production facility, which is nearby. So, as you guys may have guessed, with uh, this game, you've got the standard control system. The Q and E allow you to rotate your ship. 
which is incredibly useful. Oh, look at that. Drone repair platform has now become available. side. Oh, and hydrogen thrusters. Okay. And they provided a, an area for docking, but they forgot to get rid of some of the uh, the rock face. But hey, there we go. Now we could depressurize this room before we go out, so we don't waste oxygen. So okay. So, this looks like an advanced production facility. There is already ore in the large container, but the conveyor tubes are unfinished. Conveyor tubes transport items between the blocks. Repair the conveyor tubes. Okay, so... What do we need for this? Oh, that one there is definitely not damaged. Sorry, unfinished, I mean. That one definitely is unfinished as well. Now, in this little control room... You've got your cargo container, which has the uh, relevant components. Obviously, when you're starting a campaign, you're going to have to make all your own. Okay, the refinery will automatically pull all from the container and find the ingots. These can be turned into components by an assembler. Better connect an assembler. Okay. I think I'm going to start by repairing that. There's that bit done. Okay, so to be able to make an assembler, we're going. What we're going to do is we're going to get press G to go into our block tools. I'm going to right mouse button all of this, get rid of all these extra blocks for now, so we can focus on what we are going to do. Now, under survival kit, you're going to have your assemblers, your basic assembler. If you've got the industrial pack, then you have the industrial assembler as well. Now. <clears throat> my opinion the industrial assembler looks better but for the basis of this we're just going to pull the assembler itself now obviously we've got to get the make sure we get the um, uh, relevant ports in place All right, so we need steel plate okay and this brings me to another thing if you go back into the G menu you know to the blocks menu if you will you grab the assembler, you can either manually drag and drop the assembler into the build planner, or if you select it there and you, you left mouse button it, if it will let you, that is sometimes, uh, then basically it will then bring that into your build planner. That What that means then is if you go up to something that's actually got all of the blocks in it that you need, you can just now middle mouse button and as you saw there it says all blocks now gapped so we can now go well one or two ways uh, let's lay it down we'll have it sideways as well so that we can get access to the ports on the side if we wanted to Unfortunately, with a basic world of this takes time, I've actually increased the speed of it through the uh, menu system uh, to be able to get access to this faster. Okay, it says you can learn quickly. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. 
I'm guessing that was it. But yeah, in an, a standard assembler, not the basic assembler or the survival kit, you can also go into a button here for build planner. And then you know, if you don't have enough parts, you can then run off of the parts just by clicking on the relevant um, uh, bit. So, I don't know, let's say... Let's say we wanted a connector on it. I'm not sure we've got the, the pieces for this. Let's say we've got just, just the uh, sheet metal here. Um... So we go down to collector where connectors are under. And then we can add one of those in like that. We start welding up. Oh no, we've run out of parts. Whatever shall we do? We right mouse button on it. Go into our assembler or any any one of these um, control panels. So if we put away the, the uh, tool with zero, we left click on it, we can get access to the the control panel we can go into production we can go into build menu and then we can go connector and then that will spiel off everything that we've got left for that connector to be able to make it oops now I'm just stopping that for now because we do have all the parts for it or at least I think we do <laughs> Oh, I've never actually tried this. Okay, so we still need a few more parts. So yeah, we can now go back in here. Because we use the middle mouse button, it's now going to only do the remaining parts. But if you take them out manually, you know, by going inventory and then going click, drag, drop, then it won't update the build, man, build planner. Um, and you will have further complications down the line and so it's better to just use the middle mouse button when you're getting components out so there we go it's got a connector on it even though it doesn't need it what's that a rust freighter <laughs> okay not sure why that was bouncing but let's close these doors well, we could repressurize by going through the menu system there, or let's do something a little different. If we go air vent and we go depressurize on and off, we can now repressurize the room by turning the depressurizing off. So basically, it's going to pump air in. Okay, so we've got two more tasks. We've got the remote control drones, or we've got the hydrogen thrusters. Um, I'd say the hydrogen thrusters are going to be next, because it's only up here. Overshot that one. Oops. Depressurize the room first. Okay, so this mission centers around this little uh, mining ship, which is hydrogen powered 
It is a brilliant little mining ship, nimble, powerful, the whole nine yards. Does need a few repairs in places. Um, not sure whether it's got the parts. Possibly does actually. Okay. So let's see what we can repair. We'll get the mission at the same time. So it's basically saying small mining vessel uses hydrogen thrusters and they are powerful but require hydrogen to function. We need ice for that. Now the thing is though is it isn't wrong there. Hydrogen is probably one of the most powerful engines in the game for two reasons. One, the basically the power to weight ratio is incredible. So basically you, know, you can come to a halt a lot faster than you can with ion engines. Even though ion engines just use battery power. But these use ice to and uh, well, hydrogen more specifically to be able to um, uh, we need metal grids and large steel tubes which we don't have right well that's okay but the other th great thing about hydrogen in uh, engines is they are transatmospheric ion engines are great in space but you can't really use them in um, atmosphere I mean you can but you need a uh, a lot more than you would expect. I suppose that's be something for another episode later on. Okay, so if we add in the auto lock and the switch lock for the landing gear, uh, yes, I know you've got an ore detector, which is great, but oh yeah, you're using small batteries, so let's group together our batteries like we usually do. Oh yes, and it's got reactors. <laughs> um, so I'm going to call this H minor uh, batteries. I mean batteries, not batteries. Is that added it? Yes. Okay, add in our thrusters. Do our copy on that. Let's get the reactors as well in in this as well because you never know when you're going to need them. Um, right. So let's get these in. So got the batteries, so recharge on and off, put the reactors in the four slot, thrusters in the three slot, um, yeah, it's got the ore detector so we want to top of that on and off, though strangely enough it doesn't have an antenna. Because if you get out of the ship, whatever the ship sees, you won't be able to see outside of the ship unless it's got an antenna. So basically, it's like oh, it's like a Wi-Fi system, in you know, if you will. Um, now there was something else I was going to add in. What was it? Oh yes, that was it. So if I now go control 2, I'm going into the second toolbar. And I'm going to add in the connectors on switch lock. I'm just going to double check that first one because I don't think I actually... Yeah, I didn't. There we go. So that's all the connectors all, all hooked up as well. So if we hook up with another ship that's got a connector, we can easily do so. Right, so. Oh, I think it's basically saying that there is no hydrogen in here at all.
Hmm. Alright, so we're going to have to do this by hand, which is a bit of a, a strange job. So we're going to left mouse button, and we're just going to hold down F at the same time. And grab as much of this elusive rock uh, as it tries to go off in every direction. So we've got a little bit. So if we just dump that in here. Excellent. Alright, so we need conveyor systems built as well. Okay, I thought there was something else, but my mistake. These are actually things we do need to repair. There we go. So now... They've made this so nimble using two gyroscopes. You would need more for big ships as well. So there we go. Now we don't have rock flying off in every direction. We can basically get as much ice as we want. Okay, let's check our inventories. Oh, we are fully loaded. So. <laughs> Let's get some of that. Which is floating around. Because this we can then just utilise. We don't actually have any connectors on our um, space pod that we can use. So if we were to make one here, I think that might be a good idea. So let's see what how much we can do. Um, Yeah, I had a feeling we wouldn't be able to make everything. So, for now, let's get our mining ship and attach it onto our um, our space pod. So if I use V, I can actually then use Alt and I can then look around, see where I'm at. We are ready to hook on. So I'm going to turn the engines off as well. No fuel. Turn the reactors off as well. And in that way, as I move the space pod, the engines on the mining ship are not going to react and try and stop me. So. That's that particular mission done. Now, if we head across to the next one, we might find some additional materials as well that we might be able to utilize. So that's gonna be the remote platform. I think that we're taking more weight now. So it's obviously going to slow it, be mean that it's going to take longer to max speed. It's also going to take longer to slow down. All that is taken into account in the game quite nicely.
too fast. So we'll sort of skim around the asteroid there. We'll use our main thrusters to slow down. Okay, so here we are. We're at the, the drone repair facility. Force a habit, I close all doors always. Um, okay, let's see what we've got to do here. This facility repairs unmanned drones to mine, to build, and defend the area. To control a ship remotely, you need a remote control block and antenna. Repair the remote control box and add an antenna to the drone. Okay. So, where is the remote control block? That's this one here. So, it's still got parts for something else in my in my um, build planner. So, it's probably drawn some of that as well. So let's add the antenna into there on its own because we've got some steel plate. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add it like that. So it's a bit protected. Now what we'll do is we'll just get whatever we need back out of there. Repair the remote control block. I thought I could do that. Okay, obviously I have not. Now I have. Right, to control a ship remotely, press Shift K to enter the menu, which shows ships with your within your antenna range. Then select Control. Make sure your suit antenna is toggled on, and then take the drone control of the drone remotely. So you remember last time I was saying about the fact that if you press O. It will turn off your suit antenna, turn it back on again. Now there is another way of doing it. We can actually use a control station. We can turn on the antenna there and then we can do a shift K. Which means we'll get a much further range. So in this case if we go the damaged drone and we can go control. What we can then do is use, sorry, pressing the G key, sorry. Go in here, go camera, go view, and then. Oh, look, there's our body. Right, drone waypoint is over here. So it wants us to fly there. have it. We have a, a small cheap drone. Put that back in the in the docking bay. There we have it. We are now back on our own two feet. So basically that's that bit done. Let's see if we can now build our connector. We've got some bits out of this, but... Not everything. Hmm. Might have to grind down some parts to be able to get the parts we need. So, fortunately, in this particular instance, the the parts we're grinding down are owned by the same company that we work for, so it doesn't really matter. Right, small steel tube and a load of steel plate. 
Steel tube, small plate. Uh, Something uh, has obviously gone wrong, so can I try this again? Why can't you add it? Because you don't have it. But it's added everything else we needed. Okay. Trying to take as minimal as I can. I forgot to actually have a look in the ship itself. No, no still plate. Okay, so going to have to nick a bit more from it here as and where we can well as it happens let's add a solar panel onto our ship as soon as we can take those parts there because we would need a way of being able to recharge now uh, it's not exactly going to be the most handsome thing in the world but uh. There we go. Oh. I must use the wrong tool there. So we've got a source of natural power for our ship. Um, there we go. One finished connector. So now what we can do is grab our no little fuel. mining ship. Alright, so we're now docked up, but we haven't actually finished docking maneuvers. So what we need to do to ensure that we're fully uh, clamped on is find the connector, which we put in our second toolbar slot. We might find the one that says ready to, so in this case number three. I'll just press that number, there we go. It's fully locked on, the green means we are secure. So now, we can hop on and go our merry way. Or at least we could do. I'm going to take the time, I'm going to salvage this area take what we can from it and then go from there because there's a lot of materials that we need so I'm going to call that an end to this episode I mean we've covered three uh, yeah three various aspects we've covered the hydrogen mining we've covered drones or basic drones technology and we've also covered the uh, advanced refineries and uh, assemblers so you know I'll leave you guys with that food for thought we are uh, uh, go back round. I'll click some of the stuff that we need to advance our platform. Uh, and basically, we can go from there and uh, yep, start exploring the stars a bit better, a bit more comfort as well. All right, guys. I'll catch you next time on a catch this game. Need to survive the campaign.